Hey guys. So, as you can see, um, all these things and the title down below. We're here today to film a favorites video. And this is the month of February and I have quite a few both beauty and non-beauty items. So, let's get started with the non-beauty items. So, first thing is this LW home candle and this the crackling candle with wooden wick and this is twilight jasmine and it smells very very strong light it lighting it after five ten minutes it smells up the whole room and even further and it smells just like jasmine's and it's just blue and then you see the wooden wick and it burns evenly all the way down and I'm down to half already so it's a little cute jar comes up the top cute detailing and I got this at Ross for $5.99 six bucks at Ross and my next beauty item if I can reach it is my non beauty item I should say is this crossword puzzle book and I've been enjoying it this month Instead of watching TV or doing whatever, I just go to my book and do crossword puzzles. Next item is this gold emblem, Pistachio Delights. And this is from CVS and I've been using a lot of this as my my um healthy snack. Instead of eating like a slice of cake or some cupcakes or whatever. I just go to this, and it's very filling with a cup of with a cup of water. And that is all for my non-beauty related items. So on to my beauty items. I have this from last month, and this is the foaming face wash. And this is from Family Dollar. It's just a generic brand, I should say. And it leaves my face most moisturized and it's gentle on my very dry skin very sensitive dry skin it's very gentle and just one pump of this goes a long way i just washed my face twice so i use two pumps one for each wash and it gets all the makeup off granted i have to go in with a eye makeup remover to remove all my waterproof makeup but it gets all my face makeup off, my eyebrows and everything. Next product is also from last month. It's the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And I talked about this last month as well. It um, sets my face and leaves it dewy and skin white, not matte. And makes it look like you have face powder on, if you know what I'm saying. Next product is this Maybelline. Instant Age Rewind Skin Transformator, Transformer, Transformer. Sorry, <laughs> can't speak today. But this is comparable to the Maybelline Baby Skin in the blue packaging. I think I tried it in the store and it's the same consistency. It's like a silicone clear. Let me show you. Wait, right there. And it's just a clear has a silicone smell to it mm. I use it on my days when I want to wear natural makeup when I'm like on the go so just put it on even on my skin and put on what I'm putting on even though I don't have very large pores it just smooths my face out for whatever I'm putting on next next product is this Pixie Sheer Cheek Glow, Cheek Gel, and this is in number one natural. And I had a swatch, but it dried out. That's what it looks like on my hand. This that's this one, and it's just a natural color, and you can blend it out. Blend it out, and I'm wearing touch of it on my 
cheeks today and if I didn't mention before all the pro well most of the products that I have in this month's favorite I'm wearing on my face or I used on my face today and that's what it looks like right there and it's just a wash of color it looks natural on the skin as the name states <laughs> next product is from Revlon and it's the nearly naked skin um, pressed powder and this is in number 30 medium and it's just a light color and I use it to set under my eyes and it looks like that it kind of looks like the banana powder but in the pressed version I say but that's what it looks like and I use it to set my under eyes when I highlight my under eyes but I just used a little bit of it today and it blends out and I used it with a fan brush if I can find it it's also in my favorite Use this little fan brush, swirl it around, tap it off, and just set my under eyes like that. And then I set my T zone. <laughs> and this brush is from Shani Cosmetics, and it's just a fan brush. Next product is two different bronzers. This is from Physicians Formula, this is from Sonia Kashuk. And this Sonia Kashuk one is a cream bronzer and it's in Rich Bronze number 42. And it's creamy. I could glide my finger over it. And that's what it looks like. And you could blend it out to a natural bronzy look. See? It blends out. <laughs> but it's the color is still there. And I used a Real Techniques brush, and this is the Expert Face Brush, and I use it to go in circular motions on my um, natural contour, and I just like bronze it up, and to set it, I use the Bronze Booster, and this, that's the color of it, it's in medium to dark, and that's what it looks like, it has flex of gold in it but it's just to set my contour and I use the MAC 134 to set it just a fluffy base brush and I just use it to set the contour um the bronzer so it doesn't go anywhere next I used this is a old favorite I had this for like four or five years when I just started out with makeup I only had drugstore makeup, but this is from CoverGirl. This is the I Am Answers in Fard, Fard Accent. And this is all neutrals. And that's one, two, three, four. That's the colors. The shimmery neutral color. And I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It's like three brown, bronzy shades and then one highlight, which is the lightest one. And... That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today with an extra pop of color. This is from Alme. This is the new eyeshadows and this is in Honeydew number 105. And this is like, I don't know how to explain it. You can press it, press it and it like sinks down. I don't know. But right here, it was, it's what it looked like. It's a shimmery green. You can barely tell it's green but it has flex of silver in it. I don't know if you can tell but it's like, that's what it looks like and it's in this cute packaging and I use that on the center of my eyelids with my finger I just patted it on. Next I have the Clone Crusher by um, CoverGirl Clone Crusher and this is the waterproof formula and I use it for a natural look on my eyes. And I use that on a daily basis when I use light makeup. I also have this concealer in Deep. This is from Revlon. This is the Colorstay line. And as I said, this is in Deep number 6. And I use this on my face today. I use it under my eyes and on a pimple I had right here. And down the bridge of my nose. And that's all I used other than the contour and the blush. I only use this 
and that's it. I set it with the Revlon Nearly Naked as I stated before. And I used a Sonia Kashuk brush to blend it out under my eyes because it's tapered and it's synthetic so I use it to pat out the under eyes and this is the 121 by Sonia Kashuk and I got that from Target. Another favorite is this Maybelline lip gloss in electric pink number 90 and I'm wearing it on my lips right now but that's what the color looks like out of the two but my lips are kind of dark pink reddish that's my natural color so this color doesn't show up on my lips like that it shows up as a, just a gloss for my natural color I should say next product is from Jordana and I had this no I didn't have this in my favorites but it's the um, matte finish eyeshadow pencils 12 hour made to last and this is this this is continuous almond and it's highly pigmented formula long lasting and water resistant and that's what it looks like very creamy you can blend it out and it dries matte and I used this as a base today under my eyes to even out my eyelids because I have very eyelids at times and I forgot to mention for the cheek gel this is what I used to blend it out just stipple it on and it doesn't take a lot to get an even natural color but this is what I use it doesn't have any name it's, I got this from eBay about a year ago it's just a flat top kabuki and this is similar to the Sigma flat top kabuki brush and I just used it padded on with the pixie cheek gel. And the last few items are eyeliners and brow. This is the Master Shape from iStudio. This is Maybelline and this is in deep brown this is the eye brow pencil and it's just dark brown as it states and it's a waxy formula for a natural brow but I'm using this and a brow powder so that's why it looks this intense but it, on, the, on its own it's a natural finish and it comes with a spoolie on the other end and I've been loved I've used this every day even when I'm not wearing makeup, I just throw on some of it to make my brows look kind of put together like I tried. And it's very good for a natural um, brow. And last but not least, I think this is from CoverGirl, the name of dog, but it's in Black Onyx. And it's an eyeliner. And it's just the um, retractable one. And... This is the creamy one. You can blend it out a little bit. And it comes with a smudger on the other end, smudger sponge. And that's what it looks like. You can blend it out on the eyelids. You can add it in, and that's what I'm wearing today as an eyeliner. I just sharpened it, sharpened the tip. It looks like a pencil. And I just went over my lash line with it and that's it for my favorites guys i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to comment like and subscribe it's free of cost and that's it see you next time guys bye